extra bass hits, baby. All day. Hey guys, so I'm going to start doing these um, first impressions videos for headphones and stuff like that. Uh, it's a great way for me to get some more content on the channel. It's also good for you guys to see what the headphones all about. And it's good for me to give sort of an impromptu discussion about what I think about it. Instead of giving a full review right off the bat, it gives me more time to... Uh, update it later with an official review but <clears throat> yeah I, I can in this for, forum I can just casually discuss the headphone and it lets me be a little bit more loose instead of I'm a very structured person as you can tell I'm very um, step-by-step -step kind of OCD a little bit about how I organize things so this gives me a chance to just kind of let loose and give my impressions, my initial impressions of the headphone. And as I get more time with it, I can later on uh, make an official review and discuss it more in depth. But yeah, so the headphone today that I'm going to be talking about is the Hi-Fi Man Ananda. It's very similar in looks to the Edition X, as you can see here. Um, the Edition X had the old yokes. These are the new ones that Hi-Fi Man has put on the Sundara as well. I really, really love the build quality of these as well as the Sundara. It's just a lot more rugged than the, um, the old Hi-Fi Man uh, 400i and 400s's. So... Uh, build build is, is very good. Comfort is also pretty good, but I noticed that after about an hour and a half, it doesn't they don't dig into your ears because as you can see, um, the ear cups are fairly large and they contour nicely to the shape of your ear. But there was something about them being them pushing into not my ear, but like this part of my head right here, and it got really uncomfortable. Um, so I had to kind of take them off for a couple seconds and then they were fine after that but you, you'll be making some slight adjustments with these for sure so build is excellent comfort is I would say <clears throat> maybe about average I hate to say that but I mean I don't know you, when you put them on the adjustments are very solid a lot more solid than the older models but I have them all the way down. My head is like, it's not very wide, but my head is very long. So I don't really need, um, I don't know, it's weird. Like I need, I don't actually have to put them up that high even though my head is, is very, very long vertically. So you can see there, um, I have these plugged into my Yeti, but I don't know, I didn't really experiment having them all the way down with the sound. So I put them like that. And it gave me a nice a nice fit. Uh, with Hi-Fi Mans and Planar Magnetic Drivers in general, you can slide the headphones forward so the backs of the ear cups are hitting the backs of your earlobes and down so the tops of the ear cups are hitting the tops of your earlobes and uh, it, it alters the sound a bit in a good way it gives it more depth or more uh, width and more sound stage more air I would say uh, it just kind of opens up the sound a bit so that's how I like to have them kinda of like that so what about my sound impressions of these um, <clears throat> I would say the uh, overall theme. These these are, these remind me a lot of a Focal Utopia, uh, as far as like micro details concerned. 
air and spacing. Soundstage is very, very good. Um, I noticed that they're a bit essy. It's not an ongoing issue with like all of the tracks I listen to, but you'll definitely notice some uh, slight sibilance, I would say. Kind of have a metallic hue to them a little bit. It's not like a deal breaker or anything like that as far as my initial impressions go. Um, there's a, a great sense of atmosphere with these, a lot of depth, a lot of width to the image. Um, <clears throat> I would say these would be like an amazing set of headphones for reference purposes. Uh, I noticed that, I don't know if you guys are familiar, you are familiar with my, uh, my logo animations. And I use I utilize a lot of sound in them, and I noticed that when like playing back some of those animations that I updated, you could hear like all the mistakes. It was kind of embarrassing actually. Uh, you could hear like precisely where I cut in um, <clears throat> Premiere Pro. I was kind of taken aback by it. like there's so much transparency with these that it's like it's almost like wow. I hope nobody listens to my animations with these headphones. <laughs> Like, it was fairly embarrassing to, um, I mean, it wasn't terrible. It's just, you can you can hear more going on. You can hear more mistakes, which lends itself very well to uh, mixing and mastering uh, and reference type of work. So, that was really cool, I thought. Um, not cool in my case, but, <laughs> like I said, very similar sound to the Utopia. A ton of micro detail going on, a ton of stuff that you wouldn't otherwise hear, and even um, a mid-level audio file headphone like the HD 600 or something like that, definitely a step above, and I could say that with uh, without reservation, really. This is a $1,000 set of headphones, about, and I think they really do represent that price point pretty effectively. Um, I actually might drop the money on these if I had it <clears throat> because it does give you a step up in sound. Um, the law of diminishing returns is still sort of at play, but um, it's definitely an improvement over something like an HD650. You get more spacing, like I said, more air, more um, transparency for sure. Uh, it's the Ananda is a, a very clinical sound in my estimation. The bass is, it's not rolled off. Uh, if it's rolled off, it's a little bit rolled off. It's not, it, I, w I would um, liken this bass to something like an Odyssey LCD X, I, I would say. It, um, it's very ple pleasurable, it's very pleasant. It's a very pleasant listen. I find that the bass, <coughs> I'm satisfied by the amount. Uh, let's put it that way. Uh, mid range is very good as well. There's, it kind of knows its place. I don't. I, I wasn't finding myself um, uh, hearing any real peaks as far as vocals. Maybe a little bit um, with like female vocals. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't call it shouty like the HD six hundred. That headphone is almost perfect, but the mids on on that, of course, we've discussed ad nausea can get really, really irritating after a while. But other other than that, I would say that's pretty much a perfect audiophile headphone along with the 650. I don't get that same feeling with the 650, but with the Ananda, I don't I don't find that shout. It's more of a an essy kind of character. Somewhere in the uh, maybe the upper mids, low, low treble area. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at any graphs, so this is basically all from my personal experience thus far. I've demoed these for about four days straight, listening to a lot of um, indie pop, um, rock, guitars, that type of stuff. So kind of genres that cover all bases. Uh, a little bit of EDM thrown in there. They do phenomenally well for all these genres. Um, I listen to them out of a JDS Labs Element, which I really love. It's about a $350 DAC, amp DAC combo, 
which is I haven't got a chance to AB them with the O2 yet because I do not have a USB cable, which is super embarrassing. I have a ton of USB cables, but only one that fits into the back of the element, and it's actually the USB cord that I use for the Modi. So um, I have a bunch of other USB cables lying around, but they're, none of them fit the, um, the element, so I can't really A-B test. I'm going to go to Audio Advice tonight and try to snag one from the guys over there. Hopefully they won't. Hopefully they'll let me. <laughs> I've been borrowing a lot of stuff from them lately, but... Um, yeah, lots of detail. Some some tracks are a bit bright. I noticed um, it wasn't. It was kind of unpleasant, to be honest. A little bit. Um, definitely heard a lot of stuff in the background of tracks. Um, very organic bass response, like I said. Um, these headphones are pretty smooth and musical. I mean. Out of the element, the element is kind of a neutral DAC, so it may not be the best fit for the Ananda. Um, I didn't really try them out of the HA2 or the E10K, which I still have and I'm still demoing. And I didn't try them out of the Magna either. I just basically used them with the element because I figured that's just about the best DAC I have right now in my studio. I had the Mojo. I would have loved to get a chance to try these with the Mojo, and I might try that next time I demo them. I got to bring them back today, but I may uh, take them home again next Saturday. Um, so I would I would call this headphone immensely uh, detailed and clean, if a bit essy at times with certain tracks. Um, there's a good, a nice sense of realism and timbre with. Instruments that you don't <clears throat> really notice a lot of the time, especially in the beginning of tracks, you'll hear stuff like, you'll hear weird sounding um, atmospheric type of instruments in the background of certain tracks like um, VBND, something I've been wanting. I'm not sure if you heard that track, but um, with, it's it's almost like with the Utopia, there's a lot of, of stuff going on in the background. A lot of um, separation of instruments is very, very good. And like I said, the soundstage is very good. There's a nice sense of space with these. And I would say the number one thing is micro detail for sure. And that's why it reminds me a lot of a Focal Utopia. Maybe perhaps not as good as a Focal Utopia as far as um, balance, musicality, I would say. The Utopia is a lot smoother. Not a lot smoother, but like a little bit smoother across the board. I find that the Utopia's treble isn't quite as biting. Um, yeah, that's about it for my initial impressions. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is sort of like a impromptu way, off the cuff way of uh, discussing headphones, and I kind of like it. Um, it gives me a chance to just uh, talk freely about about it rather than having it so. Uh, what's the word? following like a strict protocol so i really enjoyed enjoyed discussing i hope you guys like these let me know down in the comments um i don't have a lot of subscribers so most of the people that see this will be my core group which i i really enjoy uh conversing and discussing gear with you guys so um yeah and it's a good way for me to um put out content like i said i'd like to get out a video per per week but I figured I wouldn't be able to get an official review out every single week because I just don't have enough gear at my disposal right now I have a lot of stuff to go over but it's hard for me to get a lot of things and keep them all right like for a long period of time like I gotta return things uh, stuff I get from companies they don't really give me a deadline so that's really cool but like with audio advice, no, nothing against them. Um, they have to keep their their headphones in stock and stuff like that. So I gotta return any gear from them within you know three four three to four day periods. So 
Um, but I can keep demoing it and stuff. So with the Anandas, I'll probably uh, demo them again in the future, trying out some different amps. And um, hopefully, well, I think I will um, be coming out with a uh, official review at some point. But I just wanted to give you guys my initial impressions with these. So hope you enjoyed, and I will talk with you all soon.